So I thought it would be easier to demonstrate this part with a short video as opposed to six or eight different screen captures of all the options. Once you get into the external editing tab of your preferences, right there in the middle, okay, you'll see that I've already linked up to Photoshop CS5, that's the one that I use, and I've linked up to several other options here which I can choose as a preset. So I can link to some others as well. Um, how you do that is you go into this middle section here and you hit the choose button. Okay? It may be different on, on Windows, it may say something else, but you're gonna you're gonna basically be finding the program that you want to link to. Okay, once you click on that, you're gonna go in and find your if you're on Mac, it's gonna be in your applications folder um, or it's down the sidebar here, you're gonna look for your applications and then you're going to find the program that you want to link to. Okay, so in my case, if I want to link to Photoshop CS5, I will go here and then find the file that has the extension APP on a Mac. So APP just means application or program. If you're on a Windows, you're going to look for the one that says an EXE extension, which is an executable file or a program. Okay, so you need to actually find the program file and then click on the choose button to select it and link to it. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I've already linked up Photoshop and it's going to give me an error message. Okay, Once you do that, you're going to need to choose the options for how you want it to work inside of Photoshop. Okay, now These are the ones that I mentioned on the, in the article in the text and you can see from the drop down menus the choices that it gives me with Photoshop are TIFF or PSD and I use the PSD because it gives me ability to use layers but a slightly smaller file. Okay. So it's even telling me over here 16-bit Pro Photo is recommended for the best preserve, best choice for preserving color details in Lightroom. Okay. Um, PSD can be less efficient than TIFF with respect to meta data updates. I'm not as concerned about that. I'm more concerned about my file sizes and TIFFs tend to be large. If you're big on metadata, you might want to go with TIFF, but just know that they're going to eat up a lot more space on your hard drive. Okay. Color space is your second option, and as I mentioned in the article, they're in descending order of size. So the largest with the most colors is Profoto, down to sRGB, which is the smallest color space. The best way that I can describe that is imagine that you have a glass of water. The Profoto glass is bigger than the sRGB glass. Okay, so it just contains more information. Okay, so I always choose the largest option that's going to give me the highest quality. And the same with bit depth. You can see that that's 16 and 8 bit. So I choose the 16. Resolution. You can put pretty much anything you want in here. I choose 300 because that's what my lab prints that. That's what I send to my printer if I'm going to print something. You can always change any of these options once you get into Photoshop. So don't worry. These are just the defaults that you're setting. Okay. Once you save them, it's going to be saved up in here like mine is. And you can add additional editors as I have done. So the only really plugins that I work with are Photomatics, which does my HDR and Photo... Photo, photo effects, which is Topaz's suite of creative um, filters, and they tend to work well with HDR also, so that's why I use them. So anything that you purchase that says that it works with Lightroom as a plugin, you can add here as an external editor, which will allow you to open the file in that program, do some work on it, and then close it back into Lightroom, and it will have a new file saved. Once you add any additional ones, you can save them as a new pre preset with the name of that plugin, and then you can always get to it from your menu of plugins from the main screen. Okay. So I hope that's helpful in terms of setting up your external editing preferences. And you'll see in here any plugins that I've set up um, are all in here. So I can edit in so if you right click on your image in your grid view in your library module and go to edit in you'll see that all of the external plugins and Photoshop things that I've set up are options there for me to pull the file over in to do editing. Right. So I hope that has helped explain that a little bit.